Hey y'all, Dr. Baron Grutter here. Uh, just making a very quick video here. I got a question today about how to make a surgical guide with a, um, a, a hole in the side of it, essentially for a case where you have a patient with a limited opening or you want to swing the drill in from the side. Um, and so anyway, there's, there's different times you might want to do this. Now one little heads up, if you're using a metal sleeve that is cemented in the guide, it's a little bit harder because, um, you know, if even if we make this guide with a cutout here, we still have a metal sleeve that gets in the way. So you might have to grind that. If that's the case, you want to use a thick metal tube because um, the thinner it is, the more likely it is to bend uh, and collapse. So uh, for me, I usually just use a direct printed guide because I use uh, the Blue Sky Bios fully guided kit and then its guided portion of the drill is a cylindrical non-cutting. So it can slide in and out of the resin without actually uh, honing it out, you know, introducing shavings to the osteotomy. So anyway, um, so this is uh, just a quick video on how to do this. Uh, you could do things as, I mean, it's as simple as um, taking your guide, clicking on it, and then using the cut tool to cut this area out. Now I'm literally recording this video from while sitting on the stairs, um, long story, but so this is one way to do it. That's certainly an easy way to do it. Um, very, you know, quick and efficient. Uh, if you want something that is more precise than that, then what I would suggest doing is when you uh, add your windows, so we, I've got a window here. Well, I've already, let me go ahead and delete this one. I already did it once. Um, let's remove this one. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna add one in that same spot. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna add window. And now to do this, the best way to line it up with the implant that I have found is to first turn the implant back on so we can see this line. Now I'm going to drag this line over and in fact, I'm going to hide the guide, I'm going to hide the model. All I want to see is the implant itself. So if I take this guide and line it up, in so, or this window, line it up in such a manner that this sphere, this alignment sphere is centered on the implant. Now I can look at it from this axis. Um, sorry. And you can see the alignment of the straight line and this this uh, alignment uh, circle. So I'm going to grab the green and I'm going to line it up until everything looks pretty well parallel. Looks good there. And so now I can go ahead and I can bring it to this end so that this circle now lines up. You'll see that this one's a bit more off. Um, let's center it first. Okay. Now I can rotate to line it up, and you can see that the arrows on top and bottom are pretty well um, aligned with this. And okay, so now I know that those are lined up. I can go ahead and turn my guide back on, and I can position this in such a manner that it becomes par parallel to this. Now I don't want it so big. Let's zoom in here so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing here. I want this to be slightly, not a lot, but slightly narrower than the actual hole that I'm working in um, because I still want good guidance for my drill. I just want it wide enough that the cutting portion of my drill, because most guided drills have a wider cutting uh, guided portion and then a narrower drilling portion. So this will allow this, well, let's go ahead and see what it looks like. If I just now go back to guide panel and just click, um, make sure that I'm on the, uh, let's actually one more thing to note here is that at this point you can you know do your guide creation like normal, making sure the model's on and whatnot, or you can just come over here to guide panel, click on the previous guide, the red model, and just click scan, create scan appliance guide. Now I could have turned the upper model back on and then hit create surgical guide again. The problem with doing that is if you've already labeled it, your labels are going to go away. If you don't show this guide to this over here, this um, uh, window uh, box, it's also going to go away. But by doing create scan appliance guide, everything should be kept. Your labels, your previous window, everything is still there. Now, I do notice that there's these little tags here because I wasn't careful when planning it, um, the size of it. So let's, I'll show you what I mean. I didn't make sure that it extended all the way below it. 
no big deal. Let's just do that. And I go to Guide Panel, create Scanner Plans Guide again, and that should make a full cut. So again, I like this because it allows me to preserve those labels I've already added. This, if this window was hidden, it wouldn't matter because it's really just duplicating this same STL with adding a hole here or adding an implant. I could hide the implant and the hole would still be there because um, the hole was there to begin with. Okay, so and now let me hide the implant. Here is my guide. I can export that. I can print that um, and slide my drills in and still have this much of it. Now, you know, be aware, you're going to have some flex potential. So you want to have a nice extension out here to make sure it's really thick and fairly rigid. But if you're, if you're understanding of those limitations and you still want to do this, that is the best way I can find to do it. Create your guide. Go ahead and line up your little channel and hit create surgical guide. Or if you know ahead of time, you can just add the window when you first design your guide and you don't have to worry about the skin appliance guide. Okay, well, I do hope that help, that video helps. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions.